In this tutorial, we'll cover the basic skills required to lay out a model flow sheet and manipulate pipes. This tutorial assumes you've watched the video that covers the basic skills for creating model flow sheets. Skills such as placing elements on the flow sheet, selecting elements, moving them around, and so on. In this tutorial, we'll start with the partially completed model flow sheet here, that represents a three-pass aerobic activated sludge system. The length of each pass is represented by three bioreactor elements. The elements have been placed on the flow sheet, their names have been changed, and they've been moved around to represent the physical plant layout. The next task, and the main focus of this tutorial, is to connect the model elements with pipes. The pipe tool is located at the far right end of the configure toolbar. To enter the pipe connection mode, click the pipe tool. Note that the mouse cursor changes to indicate pipe connection mode. As the mouse cursor is moved over an element, it changes again. A set of crosshairs is displayed to let us know that we can begin a pipe connection here. This is the pipe start cursor. Note that it is not necessary to point the pipe tool right at the edge of an element. The crosshairs remain if we hover anywhere, even right in the middle. To start the pipe, click the mouse button once. Notice that the cursor changes again, telling us that we can't start or end a pipe here now that the pipe has been started. As the mouse is moved towards the next flow sheet element, the cursor changes again to the pipe end cursor. We can point at the middle of the next element and click again to end the pipe. The pipe will connect to the element input. The pipe start cursor appears again, so we can continue to join elements with pipes. Biowin will stay in pipe connection mode until we tell it otherwise, either by clicking the selection tool on the configure toolbar or hitting the escape key on the computer keyboard. To continue laying pipe, click the mouse button and move the cursor to the next flow sheet element. Note that for elements with more than one output, like this primary settling tank, the default output connection is the overflow. So if we tried to make the next pipe connection between the primary settling tank and the primary sludge output, we would not get the desired result. To delete a pipe, exit the pipe drawing mode, click on the pipe arrowhead, right click, and choose Delete from the pop-up menu. Or you can click on the pipe arrowhead and press the Delete key on your keyboard. We'll continue to connect several elements with pipes. When we connect the last bioreactor from the first pass to the first bioreactor of the second pass, the pipe connects to the default input, which is on the left side of the bioreactor. BioN assumes that in most cases, flow is going from left to right. If we want a portion of the flow sheet to have flow going from right to left, we need to flip the elements horizontally by right-clicking and selecting Flip Horizontal. Now we can continue connecting elements with pipes. For the secondary clarifier, recall that the first pipe output should be the overflow. When the underflow is connected to the flow splitting element that will be used to remove the waste activated sludge, notice that once again we need to flip the element horizontally to agree with the right to left flow direction. To connect the return activated sludge line to the front of the first bioreactor, a mixing element is not strictly required. Simply point the pipe connection tool to the middle of the first bioreactor and the pipe will be connected. As a next step, it may be desirable to move some of the pipe arrowheads around. Exit the pipe drawing mode, click on an arrowhead, and drag it around. Note that the style of pipe dictates what pipe nodes can move and the direction they can move in. For example, if we try to drag this pipe arrowhead down, it does not move. The pipe style dialog is accessed by right-clicking and choosing properties from the pop-up menu, or by double-clicking the pipe arrowhead. There are several pipe styles available in BioWin. Next, we'll talk about three of the most commonly used styles. The pipe we're editing now is a step style, which as we saw has one node that can be moved left or right. Another commonly used style is called U-shape, which
which has one node that can be moved up or down. The third commonly used style is open box, which has one node that can be moved left or right and another node that can be moved up or down. You can set the default pipe style for a given project via the current project settings. Notice that these settings are not applied to all pipes currently on the drawing board, but will be applied to all pipes drawn from now on. You can set the default pipe style for all new projects via the new project settings. Now that we know more about pipe styles, the desired flow sheet layout can be achieved. We can drag pipe arrowheads around until things look the way we want them to. Note that for complex flow sheet layouts, it is always possible to find out where a pipe starts and ends by pointing at a pipe arrowhead and looking in the bottom left corner of the bio in main window. Another feature that helps with more complex layouts is to assign different colors to pipes. In the pipe properties, there is a color selection tool. A standard mouse click provides access to several predefined colors. A right mouse click provides access to the full color spectrum and more predefined colors. This concludes our tutorial on flow sheet layout and pipe connections. Please see our video library for other tutorials to help you become more productive with BioWin.